Moin und willkommen. Hallo und willkommen. This podcast is for motivated people who want to improve their Luxembourgish vocabulary, listening skills and fluency by listening to compelling content. I'm Anne, your dedicated host and the driving force behind Luxembourgish with Anne, with a true passion for teaching my mother tongue since 2012. In this dynamic podcast, I'll share with you interesting short vocabulary lessons and topic conversations from level A1 to B1, and together we will build a strong foundation of the language you need to speak with confidence about everyday life topics. I'll also share exclusive learning strategies and insights for the Spruchentest oral exam. So join me on this exciting Luxembourgish learning journey. Bas du prat? Are you ready? Moin, hi Stan von Luxembourgish with M. And today I will talk about how you can practice and improve your listening comprehension skills for the Sprachentest, so the language test to acquire Luxembourgish citizenship. And to be ready to take the listening comprehension part of the Sprachentest, you must practice listening properly. So many people believe that um, good practice means mock listening exam over and over again. But in this episode, I will explain why doing only this isn't gonna help you. So, bast du prat? Are you ready? Dann lass. So, If you practice listening to Luxembourgish the right way for just, let's say, 20 or 30 minutes every day, you'll improve your listening score in the exam and your overall level of Luxembourgish as well. Now, the three methods I will share with you in this episode are the same methods I teach um, to my students that wanted to improve their listening comprehension. And these three methods are totally free, so you can do them at home with out any teacher. And I'm happy to share with you that the students who implemented some of these methods not only got a good score in the exam, but they were amazed about how quick they've improved their listening skills. So I hope that all these methods, and um, yes, because they are more than tips, so they're really methods, will help you eventually grow to be a more active listen listener and enjoy listening to Luxembourgish. Let me tell you now why doing lots of practice tests is a bad idea. First, <laughs> they are boring. As a neuro-language coach, I can tell you that our brains like to do things that they enjoy. And if they are doing things that they find pleasurable, then our brains are going to be able to absorb that information and learn from it. We are human beings, and if we are doing something that is really boring, it is a very low likelihood that we are going to continue doing that thing consistently, right? What you need to be doing is doing a little bit of work every single day over a long period of time. So bear in mind that the listening test is level B1 and listening is a skill and you want to improve that skill. So just practicing is not actually going to help you improve, especially when it comes to the listening exam. So you might be doing test after test and spending a lot of time doing that, but see no improvement. Um, Watch out. It's easy to fool yourself into believing to practice many tests work. And also, you are not going to get any feedback because you are doing practice tests, but you are not learning from your mistakes. The only way to learn is for someone to help you with that. And I will show you a way that you can learn from your own mistakes without the need of a teacher. So here is the first way that helps you improve your listening skills. This is Listen for 
pleasure. So you need to to do something that you enjoy so that you will do it consistently. And if you are listening to things that you enjoy, then you are going to do this consistently. Now you can listen to podcasts, for example. I know that the radio channels, for example, rtl.lu or aldo.lu or nonat.lu offer several podcasts, especially rtl.lu and aldo.lu. So I will share the link in the show notes below. And then you can also watch to some videos, for example, on rtl.lu is the Anne's Kitchen, if you like to cook. And there are also some stories about the reason, so traveling, if you like to travel, or as well on these radio channels. Now, apart from real people, all these are in the palm of your hand. So they are on your phone. You can listen to podcasts, interesting stories, to the radio, whenever you have time and everywhere. Now, I have dealt with students who are interested in in cookery programs, for example. So I recommended listening to a cookery podcast or video series. As I said you days, the Anne's Kitchen on RTL.lu, which is really great. Or I had students who are interested into sports, so they should listen to sport matches on the radio or TV and the commentator discussing a, a match. Yes. So it doesn't matter what you are into. There's something for you. And also the great thing about having everything on your phone is um, that you can do it at any time. For example, those 30 minutes on the bus or train on the way to work or maybe 20 minutes during your lunch break. So there are unlimited options and there are many opportunities for you to practice that. And if you have the chance to be around native Luxembourg speakers, listen to them as well. Now, none of these, except the broadcasts, are Sprachen test related. But remember, they are not testing your ability to answer their questions, but they are testing your ability to understand spoken language, right? Here is now the second method. Listen actively. There is a difference between listening passively and actively. Listening passively is sitting on the bus, looking at the window and listening to the radio and not really thinking about it, but rather thinking at your day or other things. It's better to actively focus on one thing at a time while you are listening, for example, vocabulary or intonation or when multiple speakers uh, speak and focus on things that you really need help with. Let's say you need help with your vocabulary. Then when you are listening to a podcast or a story and you hear a new word, get your notebook that you only use for vocabulary And note that new word down. And to remember that word, use the method I explained in episode 9, I think this was in December, the four smart ways to improve your speaking skills, namely, write with that new word, synonym, sentences. And in a few months, you will have a vocabulary book just full of new words you've learned with sample sentences. And very importantly, don't forget to review your vocabulary on a regular basis until you master the new words. So actively listening for 20 minutes, focusing on vocabulary will not only help you in your listening task, but also improve your speaking skills. Imagine learning that way 20 new words a day. You could also practice micro listening. So what is micro listening? Instead of listening to a 20 minute audio, Listen to just 20 seconds or even only 10 seconds and then you write down what you hear. Maybe the first time we'll catch just uh, maybe two or three words, but repeat the action until you think you've understood everything and then you read the transcript to check. So always choose a podcast or um, radio item news uh, where there's a transcript in Luxembourgish. Okay, And then you might listen to this uh, section maybe 10 times, but that way you will get aware of how native speakers connect words together, right? 
To better understand what connected speech is, I invite you to read more about the subject uh, on my blog, uh, on my webpage, the a blog article called Improve Listening and Understand Native Speakers. Now let's finish this podcast with the third method, and this is listen reflectively. So this is probably the most important one in terms of improving your Spruch and Test score. This is when you do practice tests. Okay, so do them under the exam conditions and then honestly evaluate your mistakes. So where did you get wrong and why um, did you get some questions wrong? Was it the meaning, the vocabulary or maybe the speed? And write down bes beside each one the key reason why you got that question wrong. And don't just look at it and be like, well, I don't know why I got that wrong. Actually think about it. And if you think about it, you'll figure out why you got that question wrong. So what you'll see, once you've done three or maybe four practice tests, you will start to see patterns emerging. Yes. So normally students get a low score, not because they are bad at everything, but because they are, uh, there are one or two things they need to work on. So the key here is you need to take action. So once you see a pattern emerging, let's say that you notice that speed is your problem and you are messing up because you just don't understand a conversation or radio news item. Um, so a solution is then to practice reading while listening. Okay, so you do this simultaneously. For example, listening to a radio news item first First, try to understand the context, then listen again, and only then, maybe after the third time, you read the transcript while listening. And you will see that this helps you to connect the word image and meaning with the actual sound. So once students get the gist of the text, they spend time listening without reading, and this builds comprehension. And finally, this will lead to listening fluency. So take my advice here. Start maybe with the first method or the second way how to improve your listening comprehension skills. And then you can maybe add on at a later stage the last one where you do the mock exam tests. And But, but very important, enjoy what you are listening. So be very careful in what you are choosing, what you would like to listen. And then you take action, as I explained in this episode. And what you will you see? You will see results and your improvement. Also, um, I, I uh, share in an online course as well a module called Practice Listening Comprehension. If you want more details about this module, Listening Comprehension Practice, just uh, send me an email, reach out at uh, info at luxembourgishwithand.lu and I will give you all the details. Merci für die Nullaustrenn. Am um, so bis nächste Woche. Adi.